Stadia, to whom we may concern. Ooh, what is this? Ya boy Twiz. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you it looks do? like he's on oh Twitch. That's what you're going oh God! Oh no! See, I wish I could play games like that where I can just scream whenever. Video over two but I can't do it with kids and a wife. I'm trying to keep up with stuff from other Stadia content creators. Just trying to get a feel for what's going on. And the more I watched and the more I started recording, it actually started changing my mood and changing my feelings on things. And before I say anything else, I, I got to get this out of the way. What the f is wrong with y'all? Yeah, I'm talking to you. What the f is wrong with you? Got it. You guys that are sending looks... out hate and death threats to people because they don't agree with your f opinion. Why can't we all <laughs> just get along and play games? Who cares? Now, I have a message to the Stadia haters and the stadia supporters haters i'm gonna talk to you first <laughs> go ahead and smile what if he says go your name right there go ahead and get your yucks in go ahead and hit the comment section and say all the negative stuff you gotta say i am starting to feel like stadia is somewhat of a failed experiment yeah that's right i said it unlike a lot of you mother that have oh, to get on reddit you have to go look to the left and look to the right and see how everybody else feels before you can even form your own opinion all right <laughs> so i stood by what i believe if you want to hate me for that, go for it. I'd much rather you say hate tell. to me instead of that somebody else, because at least I can take it. I'm used to it. I can't tell if he's now, getting hated on by so Stadia, Stadia supporters. supporters or Stadia As you can see, haters. man, it's not all good. I'm not completely dunking on Stadia. I'm not calling it absolute garbage. I'm not calling it absolute crap. But we have to admit, guys, it's not all good. I'm not saying you can't I agree. It. I'm not saying you can't like it. I'm not saying it's not good for you specifically, man. But you gotta admit, it's not what we thought it was gonna be. I'm not leaving Stadia behind. No more than I'm leaving Xbox behind. No the benefit that I have by being a Stadia user is that I wasn't a gamer before. So I had no expectations when Stadia got announced way back in, what was it, 2019. I had no idea what Stadia was until April 2020. So uh, there was zero expectations for me. So I can understand why, like, especially founders that paid a hundred and whatever dollars for the the founder edition, and they had all these all these uh, ideas of how it's going to be, and then they didn't happen, or you know, they weren't what they were expected. I can see where I, I noticed that a lot of the previous Stadia streamers have ch moved on to uh, mostly GFN, and you know, uh, you know. Just because I think Amazon Luna is not really uh, available everywhere, but I've seen uh, people move uh, platforms, and some people just kind of shuffle around. My biggest issue is that I started with Stadia, I invested with Stadia. You know, Amazon Luna wasn't available for me to me until literally two months ago. GFN was uh, I was aware of GFN. There's, I can play it. Uh, it wasn't as good as uh, Stadia when I started, and now it's probably better tech wise I don't, I don't remember the last time that i had a problem with gfn but i'm already committed to the ten dollars with stadia i don't want to commit for another ten dollars with gfn and then have to buy games from them so i don't know i think it's uh i think i'm in a very unique situation from everybody this kind of picking sides and sticking with them it's like i'm only picking stadia because that's the only only thing i knew yes that's, that's what I, that's what brought me back oh okay so he kind of got you in there i mean what if you guys are gamers i understand why stadia is not it's not too far i still want to play games wherever the games are but with that said the games aren't really on stadia if the game comes out day and date on that platform hell i might buy it on there right but I've never been a Stadia exclusive person anyway. I'm sorry if you had that misconception. I've always been more of a PC guy. And when Shadow PC was out, I love Shadow PC. I just saw some articles about Shadow coming back. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but my question is, if you're just borrowing the rig and it's time-based, right? You have to download the game and then do the updates. And does that count against your time? Uh, shadow isn't time based yeah so you have to download the games so i have to switch oh it's so frustrating when i have to uh download and wait and uh, update and especially fortnite you know what i mean because the, the games that i play the most on 
on the Switch is uh, Animal Crossing and Fortnite. And it seems like Fortnite, you got to update every every other day. It's crazy. The appeal for a virtual machine is not there for me. That's the same way I feel about a GFN. A GFN has time limits, so. Stadia supporters, man. Be open-minded. Yeah, it's 35 minutes, so I can't stay. Honesty can't watch is always time. my number one goal. So let's talk. Oh, man, that's my boy Brian, dude. He's cool as f**k. What the hell's going on? We've made 418 positive videos about Google Stadia. And the moment we create one with constructive criticism, we get ostracized by members of the Stadia community. Oh, shit. Yeah, people can get hardcore a little too, wonder, dude. too much. Hey, man, I got to see the video. Let's go. Let's see what you're working with. I really liked the way he started the video. He said how he felt before Stadia and how he felt after trying it. He, he felt like he could see the potential yeah. in the heart. I'm going to watch this later. Because uh, it's 35 minutes long. Yeah, I saw that video too, and I didn't have a problem with it. It's just people get a little too in their camps, you know what I mean? It's okay to love something and have other people not love it. 